This feels like the world's smallest bathroom. You know, when you've got your kit in here, to be fair, I've bought, probably bought the biggest bag I've got in the van. This is where the, the uh, press fit boys are gonna come at me. Color coordinated orange for the van. Only got three fixing points. Now, this has always baffled the hell out of me. This, this whole saw pipe and waste pipe's replacing. So at the minute it's coming out the floor here, and as you can see, it's leaking. And the more I look at this, the more I'm concerned about that fitting because of the Straight enough works. We always want to hear just that little surge of water. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing well. Thank you everyone for getting us over 15,000 subscribers. When I filmed the last video, when I filmed it, we hadn't got there. When it went out, we had. And then I've had a load of messages from people saying, well done, congratulations. So I really appreciate that. Thank you ever so much. Everyone that subscribed, all the new subscribers, I really appreciate it. It really does mean a lot. And it just sort of allows me to go and make more content for you lot, which is great. So today, we've all had that one job where it's for someone you sort of know, and they've gone, don't worry about it, get to it when you can. And then they've messaged you the odd time, oh, just wondering how you're looking at doing it. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get there. And it sort of slips your mind and it, you get carried away, this, that, and the other. I think this job, I think he first messaged me over a year ago to do this job. Um, it's only a small job. It's just, he's got, a, I think he's got a towel rail in his bathroom that he wants shifting across and altering the pipes, but it's all been tiled. So I don't know how we're gonna, do the pipe work we'll try and do it as neat as we can i'm sure someone will criticize that it's not neat enough i got that on another video about pipe work i've said it the whole way through the video look you know it's being boxed in it's not an issue and a couple of people went can't believe you left it like that so we've got to move his towel rail and alter the pipe work but it's already been tiled it's it's a finished bathroom he just wants it shifting across i think it's catching their leg on the when they're on the toilet or, or whatnot but yeah it's just a nothing job and um yesterday was wednesday for me i didn't do anything yesterday because I've got my G3 invented refresher course next week. So I spent the day revising. I went out to Caffeine and Machine, sat in the, in, the, uh, in the garden in the sun and did a load, I haven't got the book here, but doing a load of revising for that. Uh, so yeah, so I'm down Worcester next week. I'll try and film a bit of that if I can. I don't know whether they'll allow me to or not, but yeah, I think it's every five years with your G, G3 invented, hot water invented regs that you have to do for BPEC. Um, so that's up. It was up a, a month or so ago, but the only time we could get on the course was next week. So we've got that ready to do next week. So I'll see if I can take you along with that. Uh, yeah, so sun is out. You always feel better, don't you, when it's a sunny, sunny morning gets you going. Right, let's go and pick some bits up. I say I haven't seen this job, or I have seen it ages ago. So I'll pick up a little bit, a few little bits for it, just in case we need them. Right, let's go and get it. This feels like the world's smallest bathroom. You know, when you've got your kit in here, to be fair, I've bought, probably bought the biggest bag I've got in the van up, but it's just dead close. So this is the tail rail I've come to do. It's been in about a year or so, and what basically the customer wants is it's shifting over. He wants to reuse this, this side, if you mean, so the edge of the rad he wants about here, edge of the tail rail he wants here. He knows it's gonna sort of protrude that and, and when you open the door, it's gonna push on the side of it, so you're not gonna be able to open the door fully, but that's where he wants it. Also, we've got the pipe work is already in, as you can see here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the rad across to this point here, and then I said to him, we're gonna to have to just come off the rad with an elbow into the bottom, and then the other one is going to go across the bottom as neat as we can and into the... He knows they're going to be on show. Again, it's one of them jobs where, unless we're removing all the tiles and chopping it back into the wall, which is a... He said, no, he's not bothered. He's, he's only in the bathroom, so put it there, alter the pipe work to suit. He's going to paint it sort of like the anthracite colour anyway. I did pick up some Talon covers just in case it was straightforward enough to do, but... He said, don't worry, we'll paint it. It's not an issue. Plumber previously who'd done the house build or whatever, the renovation, he put two board fixes under here, or two isolation valves under there, and he's just hoping that he's turned them on. But we will see. We can only, we can only do what we can do with the pipework we've got. 
So this is one of them towel rails that's only got three fixing points. Now, this has always baffled the hell out of me because, so the bottom one is in the middle. If you want to put a towel on there, granted the back of it will sit there, but if for any reason you want to push a towel there, it's not going to come all the way down, if you know what I mean. So like you can push it through there and it'll go down as far as you want. But here, it just makes the whole bottom of the towel rail redundant. But it is what it is, I've just checked in the box, there isn't another one. So, just a three on this one. So we marked up where the bracket's going to go there. And then here for the centre of the new position. So we're going to use, as always, the eBay special drill bits 10 for six quid. I'll drop the link in the description below to those drill bits because they are bang on. Don't be spending 14, 15 quid on one drill bit that lasts just as long as one of these when these are a bargain. brackets in ever so slightly just to marry up like so and then so there we go we shifted that across you don't look too bad a flat border what I may do is put the valves like this because then we can come straight into it and then he can paint it the same colour which is going to do as that and it's not going to look out of place the only one to be fair that may see if we do it like that and then again this you know he knows that's what's going to happen he's run along but that may stick out a bit too far to be fair I'm just conscious of that plastic fitting there and soldering onto that pipe. This is where the, the uh, press of it boys are going to come at me. Whereas if we come along from there, it's going to be, you know, a couple of inches off. Hmm. Yeah, the more I look at this, the more I'm concerned about that fitting, because if that is pushed back to the wall there, let's say, for instance, I wanted to get that there. I could put a street ab on there, which will bring it in, and then the pipe will run on the front. I'm just concerned about how close that is, about getting too much heat into that fitting. So what we may have to do, you know, I don't really want to do it, is put a compression elbow on there and run it into it or come off further off the front. So I'll go and speak to Will and see which he would prefer. I say this side is not gonna be a problem because we can run that into there and even if we run it the same depth as that, it's gonna look in place without when they paint it. Whereas that one's just gonna be a random pipe going across. It's whether he's happy having it there or wants it tucked back. If he wants it tucked back, we've gotta have a compression fitting on there because I don't wanna do anything with that. It's going to be cosy in here. Yeah. Come in. So, what I've got is, if we put the valve that way, yeah, the pipe can run straight into that one, yeah, there, and it's still going to sit flush. By the time you've painted it, it's not going to look out of place. Yeah. That one's fine. If I turn that valve that way and come straight out there into that. It's gonna be sort of in the middle of nowhere. It's yeah. floating. Mm. Now, if I turn it this way mm. and put an elbow on it, it's still gonna be there, but it's set back a bit further. Yeah. Which will probably look better. Yeah. But I can't solder onto this pipe. Yeah. Because that's a plastic fitting. And you don't want really to get heat into it because it might yeah, yeah. it. I can still keep it back there, but you'd have to have you know, a nut and olive, the compression fitting on there. Right, the compression out, so it's a bit of a mm. chunky elbow. Mm. So, I didn't know which, obviously that way, the pipe, your pipe's gonna be in the middle of nowhere sort of thing, so that's gonna look a bit shit. Mm. That way isn't a problem, 
coming out along there, but you're going to have that mm. compression arm. What do there. you think? Oh, it's probably better back, isn't it? Yeah, but I've got to use that compression elbow back there because that fit in there is plastic, mm -hmm. and I don't want to put any heat into it and yeah. cause it to. No, yeah, it's fine. But yeah, it would definitely look better as long as you don't mind that. You know what I mean with the compression fit with the yeah. olive? That's going to be there. Yeah. But by the time you paint it, mate, no, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of grey paint on it. It's yeah. going to blend in, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah. that's sound. Cool. Yeah. Right. That's all right. Should, what do you yeah. like? Looks all right. So, oh, and that's fine, isn't it? That's, yeah. That's yeah, right on. perfect. Yeah, so you reuse that one. Yeah. So I've soldered on the street elbow onto the end of that bit of pipe, and then if we just pop that into the fitting, there we go. There. So that's sat in there, and then we're gonna push that back and we'll make sure the depth off the wall is the same, and then we'll just cut there cut there, cut that bit of pipe off, and it will sit there. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the same with the other one as well. I'm gonna set this back and put a compression elbow on there as well. Just because it will look uniform across both of them sitting right back like that. So what we'll do now, we'll get the hose on it, get the system drained down, pop these caps off, and uh, get it cut and connected in. So we've got the hose out, color coordinated orange for the van. And luckily for us, boiler downstairs is just here so got the hose connected on there i've got the boiler off it's not a lot of pressure in it anyway but we'll drop the pressure out of it and then get those caps off and get it connected in so let's drop the pressure hoping this drain off works you always want to hear just that little surge of water There we go. Perfect. So that's that drain off opened up. So we go to the top floor of the house, open the vents on the rads, and the same on the floor that we're working on, and it will drop the top half of the system down. Step out a little bit. We know it's drained down. There we go, that's shifted across now. As I said with the pipe work, it doesn't look great, but if it was first fixed where they wanted it in the first place, I don't know, maybe it was first fixed properly, but then when everything else has gone in, they've realized it's just that little bit too close. But as I showed earlier, Will was happy with the pipe work like that. That's that connected now. We'll go shut the vents off upstairs in the rads we've opened, shut the ones off downstairs on this floor, turn the drain off, um, turn off the drain off, turn off the drain off and refill the system, get it fired up and come and check that this rod's getting nice and warm. So we'll shut this drain off, off. These gauges are sometimes pretty problematic, but we'll refill the system now. And I'm sure someone will comment on it. Oh, you didn't add an inhibitor on it. All we've done is drop the top floor off it and probably the volume of two small radiators. So the inhibitor that's still in it is still going to be in there. It's not a problem at all. So if we get it up to about one and a half bar, go and vent the rads that we drain down and then we can come and top it back up in a minute. Turn these valves off. Luckily those isolation valves that Will said were under the floor were turned on. So 
can get the air out of this one. And then we'll go upstairs, vent the other two rabbits upstairs and run the heat up. There we go, that little job sorted. He's, he's been chasing me. I apologize, Will will probably be watching this. I'm sorry, Will, for taking so long to do that. Uh, a little job that's just been pushed back and pushed back. And when you get a chance, come and do it. And before you know it, you're swallowed up with other jobs. And he dropped me a message the other day and I went, right, I'm gonna get around and get that done for you. So moving that across, it's made sitting on the toilet for him a lot better. He's not smashing your knees and everything on it. And uh, he's all right with the pipe work as it is. So where are we going now? I've just come to take a look at this little job that we've got coming next week, depending on if I can get access to it and on the price of it. So, this person wants this whole saw pipe and waste pipes replacing. So, at the minute, it's coming out the floor here, and as you can see, it's leaking. I think it's leaking from that one, or leaking from there. Well, it's leaking from everywhere, and it's discoloured, and it's knackered and it's falling apart so i'm going to replace this all with black soil pipe so we're obviously going to connect onto the bottom whether we can connect into this i don't think it's this that's leaking i think that is running down yeah it's running down so hopefully we can reconnect into that if not i will cut the soil pipe there and get an adapter on it and work from that so we'll put a rod and eye in the bottom this obviously feeds the kitchen sink the other side of there, so we'll replace that. We're going to do it all in black waste pipe. So that will feed from the kitchen, which is fine. And then up, obviously put new clips on it. This white one on the bottom is the condense from the boiler. So we'll connect that back on there, all in black, as I say. Because you can see it's all it's cracked and everything as it is. Uh, the next one up is the bath. So we take all that out and where we push through into the bath, we may have to take the bath panel off. I'll tell you up in a minute and show you. And then the toilet is there. So when we take that out, again, we're gonna have, we may even have to take the toilet out to get that pipe work in and then reconnect the toilet back in afterwards. Um, and obviously that's the basin waste. And then we'll, we'll go up and double 45 it there and up to atmosphere on the top. So yeah, we're gonna replace that. I'll quickly take you in now and show you in the bathroom where we're gonna to have to replace these pipes directly through the wall. So this is the bathroom. As you can see, straight off the back of that branch, it comes into here and then onto there. You're not gonna get that out, get the new one on, pushed in from outside and connected onto the pan connector. So just unscrew it out of the floor, unscrew the system off the back there ease the pan forward, connect it, push it back on and connect up that way. The base and waste will be a lot easier. You can disconnect it here, poke a new bit through and we can also get a talon shroud on that as well to cover that up. And I've just noticed on the uh, flexi for the basin, it's, uh, it's corroding a little bit so I'll probably replace that as well. While I'm here. And take the bath panel off and do the same for the bath waste going out. So yeah, it's a case that it's not just outside work on this one, we've got to do a little bit inside. So we need to find a day next week or the following week, depending on how we're looking at it, whether the weather's gonna be all right, whether the weather's gonna be in our favor to do that. So we'll get, uh, get a list of everything we need and make a list of all the fittings, all the joints, amount of clips, etc go to plum base get a price on it get that back let let them know what it is they want it to do it anyway so. yeah so as i said we need to pick a decent day weather wise to get all that down because that's the only internal toilet they've got in the property they've got another little out, old outside toilet out there but uh to be fair they're not going to be in during the day so we can get that done so there's a little insight into what could be coming up next week or the week after depending time wise where we can get that stack done uh i've come here bit of a random location in a big massive tent I'm basically at caffeine and machine a local car place local to me because for the last couple of hours I've been doing some revision in this big book 
ready for next week's um, G3 Unvented Hot Water Refresher course I've got to do in Worcester. They last for five years, mine ran out a month or so ago and it, this was the earliest chance I could get to get back on it. So I've just been going through the book, just going over it, making sure I'm up to date with stuff and making a few notes and, and this, that and the other in my little pad so that when I go on Tuesday I'm there or thereabouts. I think because I've done it before it's slightly less um, less of a course but I'm there for the whole day anyway. I'll see if I can record some of it. I don't know if they'll let me or not uh, but I can ask the question just to give people a bit of an insight into what goes on on these courses. Uh, some of you may find it um, beneficial. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's been a slightly shorter video this Sunday. I like to try and do a longer video on a Sunday um, just to give you a bit more content to watch while you're preparing for the next week ahead. But unfortunately this week I've been doing loads of little bits and this week's been pretty hectic here, there and everywhere. Working and recording podcasts that I think I mentioned in the last video. I'll let you know when all that's due to go out. But no, appreciate it. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you don't already. And uh, again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the week.